Hi everyone and welcome to the Tech Corner. This is the next installment of the Work Smarter series in where I teach you how to work smarter, not harder. I'm Andres for the Newsreel. And in this video, we're gonna be switching gears now away from communication and onto productivity apps. And I hope to finally round up the discussion about the BlackBerry app suite available for Android devices. So to start off, as I normally do when talking about these apps, I start off with the Hub. I will not be discussing the Hub in this video though because I already did a video purposely covering the hub i will be focusing more on the second most powerful feature available on the productivity suite that is the blackberry calendar so with the blackberry calendar you can seamlessly synchronize all of your work and personal email accounts into one place and you can see all your calendars there but i will discuss the calendar a little bit more a little bit later because i also want to talk about meeting mode but let's move on to the blackberry launcher which is really a vanilla stock android skin that blackberry developed just added a little few extra tweaks so you can get to your apps widgets and shortcuts a little easier and also includes pop-up widgets you don't have to use it but it's nice to know that it's included with the bundle the next app is the blackberry intelligent keyboard if you have access to it the blackberry intelligent keyboard learns your your typing patterns and it gives you the predictive word above the next letter as you type the best part is you can also do this with multiple languages that are compatible together so it's a really awesome feature and you can use one handedly which makes it better than other keyboards available now back to the calendar there's a pop-up widget for the calendar that really easily lets you input a quick appointment and move on so Meeting mode itself is the one that I want to discuss more is when you turn on meeting mode your notifications are automatically silenced when your meetings start so your notifications return to their regular settings when your meetings end and the best part is you can customize meeting mode based on your meeting types durations and calendars so that's what makes it a really robust feature because even if you don't adjust the settings for meeting mode it's okay because meeting mode as an option will always pop up when you have calendar events so it's always like a reminder and another cool feature about the calendar is that you can join conference calls directly from event reminders clicking join now like I said, it's really a robust calendar that I believe is underappreciated. And when people discover it, they'll find out just how awesomely powerful it is. But the best part about the BlackBerry productivity suite of apps is that they all work in conjunction together. Now, here's a quick little snippet of how fast I was able to maneuver among the apps at the Real Estate Expo back in September. So in a series of a few taps, I was able to go from my messaging section, swipe down so I could see my upcoming calendar events because I was in between schedules. And then I remembered I have lunch coming up. From my hub, I was able to select said event and it'll automatically open my default calendar, which in this case is a BlackBerry calendar. The best part is it didn't just open my calendar, it opened that very event. So when it opened the event, I was able to see what address it was to where I was gonna go meet up with someone for lunch. Then I was able to click on that to go to said meeting. It all works together in conjunction to make your Android experience a lot more productive. Now there are more apps available for the BlackBerry productivity suite but I didn't go through them on purpose because I use other applications for said needs, which I will then show in my upcoming installments of the Work Smarter series. But other apps that are available for the app suite are Notes, Tasks, Password Keeper, and BlackBerry Device Search. The one, another app that I didn't go through because it's just a very general app is the BlackBerry Contacts app, which I do use as my default, but I did not touch on that. If you have an Android powered device running Lollipop and above, you have access to BlackBerry's suite of apps. And you can get that at the Google Play Store, only available for Android right now. Hopefully it'll be available for iOS in the foreseeable future because BlackBerry is trying to bring it out. You can use a few of the apps after the trial period with some ad support, but you will not get access to the full suite of apps. In order to get access to the full suite of apps and get rid of the ads, it's $1 a month. That is the best $1 you'll ever spend a month for absolute productivity to the max that you can get on Android. And that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe to stay in the know. I have more videos for the Work Smarter series coming up. And I also have a whole new series that I'm going to be starting for my colleagues in real estate because I'll be targeting them specifically with tutorials on how to be more productive and efficient with certain applications that are available to us through our associations and through our real estate boards. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Andres for the Newsreel, signing out.